Right, well we'll just jump straight into the basic uh, idea of the structure and there we have the video signal the video signal, the audio signal and the pressure signal so that these three signals that we can either use to control the movement of objects or the devices or that we can read now to understand the basic structure here there we have the video signal there we have the differential of that s signal of different this video signal on this function is then divided up into different areas and each of those areas there's the differential that determines its movement so here we're reading the movement of different surfaces and there is the integral we're recognizing the surface so we've got the video signal the differential the integral the video signal that you know the definition of different surfaces which you know apparently objects concepts and then the differential which determines the acceleration and the integral which identifies the object then similarly we have the audio signal the audio signal then we have the differential which determines our closeness or whether we you know near or far away from from that object making the sound and there we have the integral which identifies the sound and then we have the pressure signal the pressure signal the differential the pressure signal dividing it into a objects a flow of objects and then we have the differential which determines the movement of that object and then the integral which determines identifies the object now those that's the basic idea the three integration of the three signals the, pre the video the audio and the pressure now we've got to go to the whole structure obviously you can read more about this in entoptic hopscotch and my unified field theory but I'll quickly go through the idea and in the autonomous system I think the aut autonomous system is the simplest way to understand the structure so w we have the whole structure now this whole structure is an oops object with 64 properties it's a super pixel recording all that information at the point and it's also a macro view and the simplest way we can think about it is these circles represent neural nets and then the lines represent functions you know comparing or different comparing those nets those images so everything's coordinated everything's coordinated so all the points are here this is the point this is the point. Remember now, th again, these are the ten dimensions of string theory. So you've got the point, we've got the movement of the point creates the line, and then we've got the movement of the line which creates the face, the surface. And then that, that's the video signal, what we're seeing, and then we have the differential for the accelerate, relative acceleration and the integral to identify that. So this line here represents the initiative that, if you like, initiates the, the you know the individual or the robot, or, or the animal or the creature, whatever you want to think. This is the, the level of initiative that initiates the movement, and then there on this one, we have the judgment on that on that movement to the new point, whether it's yes or no, whether it, you know we can smell what we want to that point or move to another point. So it's move yes or no. This is the basic training, the basic, you know, stimulus response, reward, punishment, the movement, and then the response. Stimulus, response, to train the device. So here we have the definition of the, you know, the, 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 the different areas, the objects here. Here we have vision, which is seen as the avatar, the driver of the device, the one making the decisions. So this path is basically focusing on that point. 
this is the point in the field, all the points are here, remember. So we focus on the point, we see the movement, we follow that movement. So this line here represents, uh, you know, the stimulus, but it represents any sign, any signal that, that we follow, and any initiative that we take. Let me come down to the audio. Now the audio on basic echo location, the echo determines the space, and then we identify the space with the smell. So smell is a secondary sense here. And then the this is a wave. From that movement, basically, the movement at that point, it creates a wave. And that wave becomes the, when it's, you know, when it's a fixed wave, an enduring wave, becomes a, the audio signal. Right, so this audio signal, remember this one is about just the audio signal and defining different sounds, different element com components of that audio signal. Here, as I've said before, is the differential, which becomes the temperature, whether we walk hot or cold, whether we close together or far apart with the you know with the molecules or so this is the temperature you know the heat to, in the space and the compression or whether we're close to where the point where we want to be or far away see what I mean there's a development of meaning it's understanding this now in so here we have the point moving to the space so that's moving to the point, so it's going in or out. It's in position or it's out of position. It's in that space or it's out in another space. There we have the face and here we have the time, the sounds, right? Now, these times this can be is about being in right or wrong right or wrong is it in the right order or the wrong order for grammar or the different sequence when we have to move objects in a different order so this is the order of things this is ordering is it right or wrong so it's remember yes or no right or wrong in or out see the development of the meaning now here for the the seeing the space we can either zoom in or zoom out we can either magnify or or or, or, or zoom, you know move away move out away and here we have seeing the time so it's all or this is about timing keeping an appointment making an appointment then we have the integral remember that determines the set what the sound is and then we cut <laughs> as we get that pressure as, we, as that movement creates the wave the wave creates a pressure pressure you know sense of touch the pressure signal now the pressure signal is the flow of objects the flow of things so get the pressure map and it, if it's fixed it becomes an object which we identify through taste <laughs> um, Then we have the differential, which is the actual movement of the object, the adjustment, whether we hold it still or, 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 or move it. And here we have the identifi identification of the object, you know, its scale and rotation, whether it's in the right position and whether it's the right size. Scale and rotation are functions of this area. And there, from the heat, the pressure so we come to an end of, of this so you see an integrated system of the 64 properties of the, uh, of the oops object being the 64 devices of the autonomous system being the whole artificial intelligence control system